when talking about sail racing at high level, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, obviously Fastnet. And uh, I think that the first time we were still on uh, an Oyster 625 when we took that race, uh, it clicked with us. And we were able to get together a great uh, group of people. We're happy to sail together, we're happy to sail fast. And sometimes uh, it proves to be that we're doing it not that bad as at Pineapple Cup earlier this year. Reflecting on the three years of running the Lady Mariposa racing campaign, uh, there are loads of things that we're fond of remembering. But I think that the biggest thing we were able to achieve is to get a group of people who is consistent and uh, you see mostly similar faces from three years back to last year to this year. And I think that either in business or in racing, consistency is the key to it. And uh, that we were able to attract and retain some of the best talent, both from UK and from other countries, uh, is what we're all exceptionally proud of. When we're looking back and uh, thinking about uh, the fantastic three years of racing we have had, it's an uh, interesting one to try to think what actually keeps us going. And uh, I think it is just the way that generally try to approach life. If we try to do something, we try to give it all we got, we try to learn from the best and uh, try to be okay at what we do. And uh, sailing has an absolutely immense potential for self-improvement and uh, getting slightly better than you were in the previous outing is a remarkable achievement. Sometimes you have something to reflect on and uh, having sailed with guys like Jesper, Christian, Nigel, it just gives an uh, opportunity to become a, not only a better sailor, but a better all-around team member. On the IRC circuit, we are racing against some of the top talent in the world of sailing. And it, I think, goes without saying that if you're not 100% in the moment and not giving it all you got, there is no chance to show a result that you've been proud of. However, uh, as uh, sailing a boat like Lady Mariposa takes 12 to 13 people, I think teamwork is actually the difference between an okay team and a performing team. And uh, the versatility of skill set, the desire and ability to step in and help your mate makes uh, us such a fantastic uh, people to be with. And sometimes we are just a little bit confused of uh, actually how many nationalities are on board. For one of the Caribbean events, we had nine flags represented on the crew and making sure that you understand the cultural nuances of working in a multinational team is fantastic and it complements the skill set and uh, this is what I'm really really fond of in sailing with Lady Mariposa. As uh, we're mostly racing in IRC and it's not a one design, the more intense emotions are actually waiting for the final uh, scoring to come in not on the elapsed, but on the corrected time. And that's a high emotional moment. When you go to the podium, it's uh, just a continuation of that feeling. However, I think I'm exceptionally lucky that uh, we are able to share this passion with my son. And for me, the biggest emotion is to see him go on a podium from time to time and uh, that makes me a really proud person.